Hello, welcome to the next section, Advanced Data Transformation. In this section, we will learn to load data already stored in ClickView and clone a ClickView data model, to describe the available functions for data aggregation, to learn how to take advantage of some of ClickView's most powerful data transformation functions. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with loading data already stored in ClickView. In this video, we will see how to clone a ClickView data model and load data from RAM. Also, we will learn about resident load. Now, we will describe yet another way of reading source tables, but this time, the source will be ClickView itself. There are different cases in which this approach will prove useful, and we will describe two scenarios to perform it. Accessing data already stored in the ClickView data model, that is, QVW file, from a separate ClickView document. We will call this approach cloning a ClickView data model. And the next approach is accessing data from the same ClickView document in which the data model resides. We will call this approach loading from RAM. The first concept refers to the ability of replicating the data model of an already created ClickView document and placing it into another ClickView document without accessing the original data source. In technical terms, it's a binary load. Once the data model is cloned by the second ClickView document, it can be manipulated further, integrated into a bigger data model, or even reduced by removing some of its tables or data. Suppose we have a ClickView file with an already constructed data model and all of the composing tables properly associated. We now want to use this same model in another ClickView document, adding just a few more tables. Let's see the process for binary loading a QVW. First, create a brand new ClickView document and save it to the disk. We name it as New Example. Now, open the Edit Script window by going to File and then Edit Script. Or you can even press Ctrl E. Click on ClickView File button located in the Data tab. Browse to the ClickView file we want to read and click on Open. So, we select the file Airlines Operations. A new script statement will be created at the top of the Active Script tab, which will be something like binary with file name .qvw. At this point, we can add more tables to the already loaded data model as we would normally do. A binary load statement is the fastest way to load data into a ClickView document. Now, let's reload the script. As you open the data model, you will find that the previous data model has been cloned. In some cases, we will need to read the same table more than once in a single script execution. This means querying the database or QVDs and pulling data from it, and then reprocessing that same data after the first read in order to make it adequate for our data model. Since the data is being stored in RAM after each query during the script execution, we can use that RAM stored data instead of going directly to the original data source. This is accomplished via a resident load. The keyword resident can be likened to the keyword from in a query. The difference is that the resident keyword is used to reference the data in RAM model, that is, all the tables that have been previously read in the preceding queries of the same script. Let's go ahead and see the process for achieving this. First, we must load data from a data source, so we create the corresponding query in the script. An example would be this one. Next, we add a subsequent query in the same script to access the table already in RAM using the resident keyword. In this case, we will also aggregate the data using a group by clause which is a data transformation technique explained later in this section. Note that, when referencing a table that is now part of the ClickView data model, we must use the field names with which they have been defined, which might not necessarily be the same names as in the source table. In this case, we are using invoice amount, a name that was defined in the previous query. The same applies for table names. As a result, we will have two tables in our data model one with all the data at an atomic level, the product of the first query, and the other as an aggregated version of the sales data table with totals by department, the product of the resident load we constructed in conjunction with the group by statement. 
In this video, we saw how to load data which is already stored in ClickView. 